Hello and welcome. In this session, we will discuss about how to gather literature, particularly about some search engines and some useful methodologies. In another lecture, we have seen what the scientific method is. We will now see how a bits of scientific method is related to survey of literature. Literature in the scientific method comes in two locations. First, when you look at a set of observations, that is basically looking at the literature. And from the set of observation, you want to come up with a question, a research question or a problem that you want to work on. Now, once you have defined the question, you again go back to the literature and see what has been done so far and what else can be done. And based on that, based on the knowledge you gain from the literature, you come up with a hypothesis and you proceed with your work and come up with a prediction or certain set of experiments or theoretical solution. There are very standard sources of scientific literature. I will discuss a few of them that are commonly used. Scopus is widely used search engine for scientific literature. It also contains a good amount from social sciences and humanities. ISA web of knowledge and site basis are other popular search engines for scientific literature. Engineering index or engineering village used to be a very commonly used index for locating uh, scientific articles. Other than this, commercial search engines such as Google and Yahoo have special websites known as Google Scholar and Yahoo Mindset, which can be used to search for scientific articles. Patent search also form a special category of searches in Google and Scopus and a separate website known as free patents. While all these things are standard uh, search engines, you could also use the general Wikipedia and Google. But remember, Wikipedia article are not reviewed by peer, but although most of them are correct, you need to be very cautious when citing a Wikipedia article. And it is not yet considered authoritative. Other than this, another place to look up for literature when you first start your work is to look for specific journals known as review journals. These journals predominantly have review articles which actually look at the literature that has been done on this particular body of work and then summarizes them in a nice and accessible manner. Some of the journals are annual review series or advances series or reviews of some topic series. When you search for literature, there are two methods that you could adopt to look for relevant material. One is keyword based and other is citation based. Keyword based is when you use to search literature when you do not have any article to begin with. You simply start with some keywords in the problem description or you could take a report that was given to you, an article that was given to you and look for some keywords from the title or abstract or specific keyword section. You might also ask your advisor for some keywords and validate your list. The other important method of searching literature is based on citations. That is, given a particular bibliographic information, which is the source title, author, year, volume and page, you go and look up for this particular article in one of the search engines and then build up literature which is related to that. Just to give you a broad overview of how literature is organized, we look at the citation hierarchy tree. The citation hierarchy tree very much like ancestral tree looks like this. Now, suppose what we have plotted here is this vertical axis represents the year of publication. 
take a look at this red article. This was say published around the year 2000 and these articles which are colored here were published before 2000, let us say 1995. And this red article used as part of its work, work that was done before it. For example, it used some material from here, some from here and some from here. It depended on all these three things. So, these articles may be called as parents of this article. Now, look at these articles down here. These colored articles were published after 2005, 2000, maybe at 2005, 2010 and so on. Now, these articles used as part of its references this red article. Since these came after this red article and these came, these are dependent on this red article, we may call them as children. Now, what about this article, which are not colored here? They are not directly coming in the reference list, nor they are citing this article. What are they? What do we call them? You will notice that I can trace root from this article here to this article here this way. Go up and then down take another article here, I go down, I go up, I go down, I go up and then here. So, these are all related. How are they related? They have some common parenthood like this. This shares a common parenthood with this. So, what do we call them? You can call them cousins. Now, these articles were roughly published during the same time as this article. Because they were all published in the same year 2000, these authors did not know that there were another group of people who were working on that. But now, at this point of time, you know that they are related by a parent. And you can use this information to look for related articles. This is only to give you a broad picture you do not need to actually trace this map by yourself. The search engines know it and they will do it for you. And what would you do in a search engine? You can do a citation based search. That is given a bibliographic information which is the name of the journal, volume, year or name of a book and page number or whatever. You locate that book in the search engine and then you ask the search engine to find related work or related article. Then the search engines will use this information, this underlying information which is there in all search engines to look for all these articles. So, you can easily start with this and locate all these articles including the colored ones by just doing a citation based search or a related work search. Now, this is very similar to a social graph. You might have heard of social graphs. Social graphs as in friends, friends of friends which you see in social networks. References are also organized that way and it is easier to find them because they are all related in the same area. Now, there are certain advantages and disadvantages of keyword based search and citation based search. We will see some of them and it will be useful for you to use one of these things when you start off with your work. Now, keyword based search is best when you do not have any relevant article. So, all you have to do is somebody has stated the problem that this is the problem that I have and I need to solve it. And you just go and pick up a few keywords from there and then go and search based on it just as you would do Google search. Citation based search is on the other hand best when you have a relevant article. You have the complete article given to you with a complete bibliographic information and then you can go and find 
using this tree all the related articles. Now, keyword based articles is not very accurate because you do not know which keywords are the best and it could take considerable time to find out the best possible keywords which will lead you to the problem that you have in mind. On the other hand, when you have a related article, when you have a particular citation, all the related articles are easily found out by the search engines using this graph. In keywords based search, it is very possible that you miss an important work. Like for example, this red article could have missed this article because they did not share a common keyword that you gave. However, when you do a citation based search, this article is also found out because they have a common parenthood. Similarly, for keyword based search, you need to be a little experienced in providing good keywords. Sometimes very giving very broad keywords will give you very broad topics in that area and you will not be able to locate the relevant article. Whereas, in citation based search, all you need is just one relevant article. In keyword based search, you do a literature survey every time. So, it is a fresh search every time. Whereas, in citation based search, this person has already found out the literature and cited them as references. So, if you know this article, you know this and you know all of them in that area because the search engine knows the map. Keyword based search is very easy to manage initially because you probably have only few articles which are relevant to you which you find from the list. Whereas, citation based search instantly gives you the whole network and you do not know which to start off with. So, there are advantages and disadvantages. So, in your work, you can use both the keyword based search as well as citation based search. Try and find out which is easier for you. Thank you for listening.